welcome in to the PHNX Sun Devils podcast live show thingy. This is going to be a weird one. Um, it's pres- the weirdness is presented by the DraftKings Sportsbook app, America's top rated sportsbook app. Bet just one dollar on any NFL. Don't take those damn glasses off. One dollar on any NFL game this week, and if either team scores a single point. You get $100 in Just free one. bets. It's that easy when you sign up using that promo code PHNX. It's Freaky Friday, Woo-hoo. and I'm joined by Michaela Perkins. Um, I don't really know where to go. There's so much. No, 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 no. No, this one. Oh, sorry. That, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> um, there's so much to say. Uh, there's not so much to say. There's so much to do today. So um, much to talk about. There's not a lot to talk about. No, there's not. <laughs> we fabricated a lot of things to talk about. We're lying um, to you right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's just let's let's get right into it. Let's let's get the let's let's get the real stuff out of the way. I know, right? Aren't they fucking sick? Um, let's they get look the real. On me. <laughs> let's get the real stuff it. out of the way. Um, ASU men's basketball. They're so bad. What needs? Oh my god. What needs to change? Let's not just say they're bad. What needs to change? They need to figure out a way to work together. They look so disjointed. Mm -hmm. You keep preaching and preaching and preaching that they have so much individual talent. And I agree that they do have some talented players, but they haven't figured out how to bring the talent out of each other and then work together as a team. And obviously that's going to be the case when you have a roster that's practically all brand new. But I would hope that. But yeah, at this point in the season, I was hoping that things like what's not clicking, Steven? (laughs) Well, let me throw out some. They need to get it together. Let me throw out some team stats. These two were the most jarring for me. There's 350 teams that they rank in this team stats. This is in the entire NCA. They're 307th in scoring offense, averaging 63 points a game. Their assist to turnover ratio, um, you know how many? Yeah, yep, yep. Um, it's it's 105th in the nation. It's 1.03, which means they're turning the ball over every time they get an assist. Basically, um, the guard play is terrible. Um, which was supposed to be the strong suit. Yeah, so much for guard you. Yeah. Oh. That kind of hurts now to say. Guard you more like guard poo. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> the the biggest thing for me is this team doesn't have that guy um, nope. in the post or anywhere. Uh, they have Gaffney, Boachi, and, uh, and Jalen Graham, who all can be that guy, but they all kind of fill in for each other. And one of them has like eight points a night. And that's it. Nobody, there's not really a score. Look, I still am going to say I have confidence that this team can turn around. I'm not saying they will. I'm saying they can, um, which which is fine. It's still early in the season. It's not technically Pac-12 play yet. They have a tough road test against Oregon. Um, and I know you're not confident in that, but we'll get to that later. Uh, there, there, there's a lot to there's a lot of basketball to play. And, and maybe they turn it around at some point. But if they don't, what is Bobby Hurley's expiration date? If they don't, oh, geez, mid-season at most, I mean, you have to move on. You can't, like, definitely this is, would be his last season if he made it all the way through the season. You can't yeah. bring him back after this. I think, I think he makes it all the way through, and I think he should. Look, he, he still, to me, is a solid coach. Right now, he's not coaching the best basketball, and it's because of pro- what I think. It's because last season and the last four years, rather, He's had that guy, and he doesn't have that guy this year, and he needs to figure out how to play without that guy. And but that's the issue is, like, as a coach, it's you should be your job. Adapt. Yeah, you should yeah. be able to adapt. You should be able to look at the factors that are facing your team and see, okay, this is what's not working. This is how we're going to adjust. And he has had how many games now to figure out what's not working, yeah. to make a game plan to try to fix it. And it looks like it's the same team with the same schemes and plans every single night out on the court. Mm-hmm. They – are not being innovative. They're not Which from is weird. I, number one in innovation, on. baby, get it together. They're. <laughs> it's just it's not working. It's like I said, it's not clicking, and a lot of that has to do with Bobby Hurley, in my opinion. And I don't think that he needs to be the coach for you much what, longer. You know what? You know what they need. This is what I would do to fix it. Give everybody on the team a bang energy drink and make no, them play they as need a, they need a Celsius or, or a Celsius. Give them an energy drink and make them play fast because this team is best when They're it's slow. playing fast. We've seen it before we saw it in the Syracuse game uh and that's that's not just because Syracuse sets in a, up in a zone that's because this team is more comfortable when it's playing fast it's built for it it's deep it has athletic bigs um quick guards to apply pressure they get into that zone it works or they get into the press sorry it works it's a zone press um and they can get stops when they need it it, it I, I it just doesn't make sense why they haven't gone fast and Hurley has said himself that he wants this team to play fast 
I just don't know what that kickstart looks like. Uh, something needs to give with this coaching staff. And if it doesn't, something's going to happen soon. But look, I don't want to be negative on a Friday. I, that was a quick little burst of stuff. But that's because there's a lot to talk about from our lives and our standpoint. Um, and I want to get to that as fast as possible because it's Freaky Friday. <laughs> oh, my God. That is incredible. I have never looked better in my life, although I'm extremely offended that I am not Lindsay Lohan in this circumstance. And I think that was a huge miss on whoever made this part because... Don't I look really good in combat boots? <clears throat> no. <laughs> really? Don't, don't I look good in a skirt? The skirt is what sells it. I, I, I yeah. look good in a skirt. Yeah, the skirt really. is definitely what sells it. I think it. I do, too. I um, think I might... I still think I should be Lindsay Lohan in this case, but we're gonna we're gonna work with it. We're Why gonna is keep that? going. You're not the mom. I was gonna say something really mean, but we're just gonna keep going. No, 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 no. Get the camera back on my face. What? <laughs> just say. Never mind. Let's just move on. No, I'm not moving on. No. If anyone can rock a mom bod, it's you. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> I know I'm not, which is why I should be Lindsay you, Lohan. You, you've been on this show live twice. Yeah. And both times you've started crying. I'm not crying right now. You're crying. I'm not crying. I'm fine. My allergies are just really bad. I think I think I, I – well, first of all, I agree with you, and I don't think that's an insult. Um, I can fill out a mom bod for sure. I can fill out a lot of things. I can fill out a skirt, as we saw. Yeah, the skirt was, the skirt was nice. Okay. Well, speaking of switching roles, before we get to that, if we switched roles, what would be your most concerning part of my life? I Not too deep. Don't don't attack me too deep. You have so many ways I could answer okay, that. Answer it. What would be the most concerning or yeah. what would be the best part? Because Both. the best part Both. would be getting to hang out with Offset and Duncan. Okay. My two um, cats. And your mom. Okay. <laughs> I love your mom. <laughs> Shout out, Paula. Um, the most concerning... <laughs> uh, Getting dressed in the morning, what? taking a shower. I don't. What? <laughs> Just anything. You don't think? First of all, you don't think I shower. That's crazy to me. I smell fantastic every time I walk into this office. No, just kidding. You, I'm kidding. I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know what time. mine would be. The nicotine addiction. <laughs> Ooh, the nicotine addiction would be hard to deal with. For the, I'm more offended by the fact that you didn't. You don't think I have style. Shane, you wore dad shoes and a bomber jacket from the '80s in Old Town Scottsdale. You, verbatim, this is a quote she said. We're at we're at the hot chick uh, TM. Hot chick. Everybody knows that we hang out with each other now. I guess. We're, hey, everyone. <laughs> I was trying to a, keep that on the DL, but. Lohan, by the way, if you look at the original graphic, that's Lindsay. In the Freaky Friday. Oh graphic. yeah. Oh yeah. Because oh, oh that's right. They yeah. Dang it. I just exposed myself. Wow. Anyway, it's fine. Um, I did like your jacket. The dad shoes did not do it for me. Sorry. If you don't like New Balances, get into my DMs and tell me that so I can prove you wrong. Shane's fashion is kind of, oh, <laughs> that's, that's not that bad of a thing. It's not, I don't know what Pinterest people. you're looking at. That means I'm inspiring people. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. My most concerning part would be the fact that I wouldn't be able to cook anymore. That's yeah. I can't cook at all. I'm sorry. That's you would have to. You would have to um, buy some microwavable meals from Sprouts and just live off of that yeah, for however long that. it took us to I switch could, back. I, I couldn't do that. Well, look. Um, oh, I, what about driving my car? Oh my god, that's <laughs> terrifying. I know. The, wait, I have to give you a best part because you gave me a best part. Okay. No, nope. can't think of anything. So rude. But no, the best part would be running ph next social media because i would be oh, a that menace would be, that would be scary i would be a menace i'd be like good morning friends and i'd take a picture like laying on my bed with my feet up behind me you know what i'm talking about thank god you do not have <laughs> control over the accounts <laughs> um well i thought it'd be fun freaky friday to play a game uh play a couple games uh first one actually there's only one the other ones it's just it's just a fun <laughs> day dying. excuse you Thanks. um we're gonna play a game called what's more likely and i'm gonna give you two scenarios and you're gonna tell me what's more likely to happen mm-hmm Okay. So first of all, ASU and U of A have to play basketball this year. I know it's not good, but they do have to play. Yeah. Um, I don't think they have a choice in the matter. The worst part about this is they might be able to get ASU, beat ASU so bad that the 70 to 7 doesn't matter anymore. Like that, that is how bad ASU might lose to U of A. Yeah, absolutely. It's concerning. Um, so what's more likely? ASU beats U of A or you go home and Cleo starts talking to you. Cleo's her cat. 
Um, I think it's more likely Cleo go. I go home and Cleo starts talking. Is she to close? Me. Has she tried to say some things? My cat will look at me sometimes. And I'm like, you're trying to speak, you motherfucker. I can tell. I'll I'll say I love you, and she goes, wow, wow, wow. Like, there's no no shot in hell that ASU can beat U of A in basketball this year. There, it's not even up for debate. It's not going to happen. Okay. U of A is firing on all cylinders, and ASU looks like a JV middle school basketball team. Okay, then this one's going to be even harder. What's more likely, ASU beats U of A, or I put up a 30-point triple-double in a Division One basketball game? Listen, I'm ready to have you suit up for the Sun Devils. <laughs> put Shane on the court. Give me Bobby Hurley's number. I will call him right now and be like, look, I've got like a six-foot mom bod five mom bod <laughs> beast that can probably really help your bad team if you give him a shot so let's get him on the court let's suit him up give him a uniform and let's go i'm not okay with you calling them a bad team they are a jv basketball team oh at God. best it's bad what's more likely asu beats u of a or drake drops an album next week called certified baby boy I would not. Drake drops albums like it's nothing. He just keeps dropping but with albums. That exact title. Sh- yeah, that. Would you listen to that? No, I haven't you listened to it. Listen to Certified Baby. I, I haven't listened to a Drake album since like Take Care. They have all significantly declined. Every in single quality. show you've done, you've disappointed me. Drake makes music for radio. Drake has fallen off. Sorry, Drake. Don't come for me. I still want to come watch your concert. Please don't cancel me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, enough of ASU basketball. What's more likely, JD5 wins the Heisman next year or you cook yourself a real meal this weekend? Um, J- There's no way JD5 wins the Heisman, so I think it's more likely. But there's also likely. no way you cook yourself a meal this weekend. You're going to come home hungover. You're going to order Uber Eats. <laughs> and you're going to sit in bed and you're going to I can cry. figure out how to boil water and make pasta, mac and cheese with ketchup. That is not a real meal. Yes, it is. Uh, Mac and cheese with ketchup? Mac and cheese is sustenance. You can survive off of mac and cheese. It's more likely that I come home and make myself a meal than JD5 wins the Heisman. Okay. Um, what's more likely? Bobby Hurley gets fired or first or you get a new car first? Bobby Hurley will get fired first before I get a new, a, car. For a new car. I'm looking. I'm trying. Um, Mom, if you're listening to this, can I please have a new car? <laughs> I'm going to die in the one that I'm driving around. Um, I am in the market for a new car. I'm thinking timeline-wise, like six months, um, which is probably the lifespan that Bobby Hurley currently has as head coach of the you Arizona State Sun Devils. Today. <laughs> so I'm realistic. Today. You are like the eternal optimist, and I am the eternal realist. Pessimist. Pessimist. Yeah, sure. I'm realist, yeah. But I wouldn't say realist. Either. Positive Polly and negative Nancy. I'm positive Polly? Yeah. What's my What's my brand? I don't know. <laughs> like, like if you if I were packaged in a action figure thing, what would I come with? Uh, definitely a skirt. Yeah. <laughs> Can we pull that up one more time? Oh no. I mean, comment yes if you think I look good in a skirt. Or don't say anything if you don't Just think I look crickets. good. Just crickets. <laughs> I mean, my God. People with New Balances have money. Shane can buy you a car. Yeah. Can Boom. you? Do you want to buy me a car? Hell no. I'll buy you. I tried. I'll buy you Thanks a, for the suggestion, Matt. A toy car. Did you ever play with Hot Wheels? No, I did not. This is unbelievable. How three much did yeses. you pay these people? Three yeses. Three grand. A pop. How much did yes. you pay these people to comment? That you Hell just... yes. No. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks You're for welcome. starting that conversation. Um, Anytime. All right. What's more likely? Herm Edwards gets extended or Antonio Pierce was actually a U of A mole and Mike Luke was right. I really think Antonio Pierce is a U of A mole. <laughs> I've bought into this conspiracy theory. Um, I would not be surprised if Antonio Pierce was the mole. Yep. I'm going with AP. All right. Last one. What's more likely? ASU basketball makes the tournament next year or ASU football gets in the CFP next year? Oh. Oh. Oh, geez. Uh, or the moon landing was real. <laughs> well, the moon landing didn't happen, Kayla so that option is, is real, out. She's never seen it. That was a real quote That's today. That's sound logic. <laughs> That's really good reasoning, in my opinion. Um, I would probably say it's more likely that ASU basketball makes the tournament. Wow. Wow. Next year. Even with the moon landing, what, okay, what's more likely? ASU basketball beats U of A basketball or the moon landing was real? I'm never going to admit that the moon landing was real. That's never going to come out of my mouth. I'm sorry because it didn't. It's not real. It didn't happen. Oh my, my mom is here. 
there she was listening. <laughs> mom! <laughs> For those listening on audio, Michaela's mom just ca- dropped a bomb in the comments and said, Amen, the moon landing didn't happen. That's my girl. That's where I get it from. Mom, I hope you were also here when I was talking about needing a new car because I really need a new car. So we could get that started. Um, we were talking about swapping bodies and Shane's most concerning thing about swapping bodies with me would ha- be having to drive my car no, around. the most concerning thing is cooking. Cooking and then driving my car. So if we could get the ball rolling on our new car, Mom, I would really appreciate it. Um, but also, thank you for backing me up. Um, now you see where I get it from. Yeah. Well, if if your mom can't buy you a car, <laughs> maybe you can watch my Daily Bet show and figure out how to make yourself some money to buy yourself a car mm-hmm. on the DraftKings Sportsbook app because it's America's top rated sportsbook app and they give you tons of offers all the time. I was saying this morning, Lindsay didn't bet for so long on the DraftKings Sportsbook app for like a week because she was too scared. She wanted to, yeah. but she was like too worried. And they gave her a 200% profit boost randomly because they were like, hey, come on, let's go. Let's go. It's, it's fantastic what they do at the DraftKings Sportsbook app. It's safe, it's secure, it's reliable, and best of all, you can deposit and withdraw money whenever you want. Right now, you can download using that promo code PHNX uh, when you sign up, and you can bet just $1 on any NFL game this week. And if either team scores a point, you get $100 in free bets this week at the DraftKings Sportsbook app. That's 21 plus Arizona only gambling problem. Call 1-800 next step. New customers only. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for more details. One last serious thing before we get more. What has any of this been serious? <laughs> what are we talking about? One last serious thing. Well, the first part was a little bit serious. All right. Does nobody take me serious? Is that my crutch? Is that my problem? I think oh, that might be your problem. I'm scared. Um, Listen. Speaking of the DraftKings Sportsbook app, you can make some fun bets, and if you're confident in your bets, you can bet a lot of money. And if you are like me and you have some confidence behind your picks, you can have a thing called a Defen Lock, which drops on our Instagram every Friday. It's coming out today. I'm going to give the people what my Defen Lock is right now for the DraftKings Pick of the Week. Let's my Defen Lock this week is the Vikings covering the spread, Ooh. but I'm buying a half a point. So it's six and a half over the Lions. That is my DraftKings pick of the week. Do you have a DraftKings pick of the week? Um, I'm just going to echo whatever you say. Yeah, that's a good one. That's yeah, a really thanks. good one. Thanks. Hey, nice pick. Where'd you find that? Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at phnx underscore oh, sports. Okay. Uh, I run that Instagram account. So no, <laughs> did you think I, I was going to plug my own she, Instagram? I thought she was about to promote herself because she was talking crazy about becoming a social media influencer before the show. I am going to become a social media influencer. So if you want to follow me on Instagram too, that's fine. What's your Instagram at? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to drop my Instagram at. I don't want weird people in my DMs. Make sure to go follow our PHNX <laughs> underscore sports on Instagram, though. We drop some fire content on there every single day. Like Shane said, his defen lock is going to go up uh, shortly. Shortly after the show. Um, so everybody, I'm sure, if you are on the internet, saw... Did, first of all, do you care about sp- other people's Spotify raps? No. Do you care about other people's Apple Music replays? No, absolutely not. Although the only time I care is when it exposes did you post someone. Yours? Yeah, I did. See, that's oh, the problem. Sorry. The only thing I care about though is when it exposes people for having horrible music taste. Then I kind of care. Yeah. But like I've clicked wait, through them so wait, fast. Wait, 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 wait. What's horrible music taste in your opinion? Uh. Well, it's subjective, right? Like, what I like isn't what could be like what you like. You said like. that so objectively. <laughs> so I keep saying it's subjective instead of objective. Isn't it the same word? <laughs> Doesn't it mean the same thing? Objective Objectively means, like, it's bad and there's no discussion. Objectively bad means it's bad and there's no discussion. Subjectively means by your own opinion. Yeah, so it's subjective. Music taste is subjective. Yeah, but yeah. you said that so objectively, like, people oh. have bad music taste um no what's your opinion of bad music taste um like the new age of rap like with the rappers that look like they have licorice on their heads or like rainbow dyed hair have you even tried to listen to it it's so bad it's so bad anything that anything that my 20 year old brother listens to would qualify as bad music taste give me an impression of that of those songs absolutely not i have embarrassed myself enough on this show i'm not doing it again that's literally my sole job (laughs) um yeah, I I don't I don't care. I didn't post mine this year. I didn't post mine last year. It's interesting to have for yourself for sure. Yeah. To see what you listen to the most. Mm-hmm. See, like, yeah, I like to see what I like to listen to, even though I listen to it every day. It's nice to have like a little, you know. But I don't I don't think other people care. But you still posted it. Yeah. Why? Because I'm vain. <laughs> Thank you. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> my brother does listen to bad music. <laughs> see, my mom is still here what backing do you think me of up. The Island Boys. Garbage. <laughs> so yeah. annoying. Um. All right. Well. 
Spotify wrapped, big thing. Uh, everybody knows what it is. I curated um, a Spotify wrapped for ASU football this year. Um, so let's look at their most played song of the year. Um, it's called Bailed Out, and it's sang by Rashad White. Uh, it, they played it 373 yeah. times this yeah. year. My God, that man. Can you imagine what ASU football would look like without him this year? Um, they wouldn't be at the record they're sitting at right now. I can tell you that yeah. much. Um, Rashad White carried this team on his back. Uh, <laughs> sometimes literally. Sometimes literally. Literally and figuratively. Uh, we would not be uh, in a bowl game if it weren't for Rashad White. I can tell you that really? much. Really? That's, that's how, wow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Rashad White was our offense. Um, he did single-handedly win the Sun Devils two games. And if they lost those two games, they would be six and six. Yeah. So they would be barely bowl eligible. Exactly. So uh, that's a great spot if I wrap for the ASU football team because um, Rashad White carried that. He did that. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Well, we also have their top five most listened to artists and songs right now. Um, I don't know where the bailed out went. Um, I think that was just a you just forgot about that. that. Step in the oh graphic. man! Um, look, Rookie. their top five artists are exactly what you would think: Rashad White, number one; Herm Edwards, number two; Jane Daniels, number three; Zach Hill, number four; and the Fox that was on the field, number five. That's the Fox. Also, I feel saying, like the Fox should be number one. No, because that's it, it's the top listened to artist, not the best artist. Okay. Um, their top their top five songs are. 70 to 7 featuring the Wildcats because they still want to listen to that even though it didn't yeah, happen this year. That's just, on repeat. It's on repeat. It never gets old. That's um, like a classic that you just like. Number number two good. is a Weird Al Yankovic remix that they made of uh, No Friends in the Industry by Drake. It's called No Friends in the Pack. Um, number three was It Wasn't Me. Okay. Um, I think that has a lot to do with their recruiting scandal stuff. Uh, number four was It Wasn't Me remix. Um, I don't know who's on that, but I, I don't know if it's been released yet. It might be unreleased. Um, and number five is "Where Am I?" And that sa- that song was sa- song that song was sung by the Fox. He was like, "Where am I?" This was actually so well thought out. I'm impressed. Why do you, why do you say? Oh, and look at the minutes listened to. That's how many minutes the ASU played football this year. Why are you so good at this? Yeah, and their top genre was anti-pop. Um, make sure you tweet this from the Sunhouse account. <laughs> Did I do something social worthy? Yeah. Hey. I just want to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> that was horrible. You know I take back all the nice things you know I ever was? said about you. Do you know what that was? No. Yeah, you're culturally inept. That was a riffraff. Garbage. But no, but it's a video he posted. I don't listen to his music. It was a video he posted on Twitter. I'll show it to you, I'll show it to you after the show. Okay. Were there any sleepers, uh, ASU songs or artists that weren't mentioned? Oh, God. I'm not as creative as you are off the top of my head with stuff like that. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't think I can think of any. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry, everybody listening to the audio podcast. Um, all right. Before we wrap up, um, it wouldn't be a Freaky Friday without an internet review. This, this graphic is cursed. I'm scared. <laughs> Wait, I'm Here scared. It <laughs> Here it is. We got the spinning wheel, guys. There it is. Oh, what in the world is that? Dear Lord, I hate that. <laughs> I think I encapsulated my body type well. I don't know about you. I yours. look so disproportionate. Thanks for making me skinny. She's a skinny legend. <laughs> For those of you <laughs> listening on audio, you just have to watch this episode. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry for not incorporating you guys. Enough. <laughs> um, yeah, I worked really hard on that before the show. I'm crying now. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, well, before we get uh, out of here, um, every Friday, we take a deep dive into some of the, my favorite videos I saw on TikTok or the internet in oh, general. I'm so excited for this. Um, without further ado, the first internet. The New York Jets are a real team. Oh man, I may not be the biggest guy out there, but when I work hard, I can really help the squad. Hey fellas! 
Oh my god, that was incredible. I mean, I'll be the biggest guy on the team. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel at PHNX sometimes. How? I may not be the biggest guy on the team. You are literally you the f- largest human being in this office. <laughs> no, I would say that's Jacob. No. No, mass wise. Shane, no, in, I thought you were talking about height. Shane, the e- <laughs> Stature? Jacob is like 100 pounds ringing wet. <laughs> Stature, but also social presence, I'd say. Yeah. When I walk in the room, yes. it just gets dense. Yeah. Yeah. People get... The I air mean, gets thick. <sighs> yeah. That was a fantastic video. Um, can you believe that kickers get paid so much money to do that? So are you anti-kicker? Yes. I'm so anti kicker. How do you, how are they going to get that much money and half the time they miss and <laughs> the other half of the time? That was one of the laziest takes you've ever had. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but, but I agree. You have one run, run, you one have job. One job and half the time you're role. bad at it. Yeah. Star in your role. Bad. I agree. All right. Second one. Welcome back to America's favorite game show, Philadelphia 76er or 1776er, where I name a lineup of players and you tell me if they attended the Second Continental Congress in Philadelphia or if they're on the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's play. Starting at point guard, we have Peyton Randolph. Was he unanimously elected president of the Second Continental Congress or is he on the Philadelphia 76ers? At the two guard, we have Aaron Henry. Was he Virginia's delegate at the Second Continental Congress or is he a bench warmer on the Philadelphia 76ers? At the small forward position, we got B-Ball Paul, Paul Reed. Did he organize the economic boycott of Great Britain in 1775, or is he on the Philadelphia 76ers? Power forward, Charles Bassey. Second Continental Congress, second round draft pick. And finally, at center, we have Silas Dean. Did he secure French aid for the American Revolution, or does he average three rebounds a game on the Philadelphia 76ers? All right, let's do it. Am I picking out one no. person or is it the whole well, roster? All, it's not all of them. It's it's one person each. So like, does the, is this person on the Sixers or is this person a congressman? And they all have different answers. Okay. Okay. So first one, Paul Reed. Sixers. He is on the Sixers. Okay. Peyton Randolph. Sixers. He was uh, a planter and a public official for the colony of Virginia. Dang. Uh, Charles Bassey. Sixers. Yeah. Uh, Silas Dean. What's the last one? Aaron Henry. Uh, I'm going to go 1776 for Silas. Okay. 76er for the last nice. one. Nice. Nailed it. Four <laughs> for five. Look at you. Uh, I thought that was, that was really well That was well good. Done. That's good content. Yeah, it is good content. I like when they repeat things um, like that. When they're like, when they ask a question and then, the, you know. Yeah. I just like it. That's know. great. I like yeah, that. Good. All right. Uh, second to last one. As many of you know, adult cats do not meow at each other. Only kittens do that. So when your cat meows at you, really what they're saying is, I'm baby. <laughs> that was the best video I've ever seen in my life. I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, just a cat meowing? Yes, I love cats so much. I'm going to be a crazy cat lady. I'm convinced. Um, that was so cute. So cats just say, I'm baby. When they meow, that's the whole thing. That's not real, Michaela. <laughs> it's to me. <laughs> oh. I love cats so much. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, last one. Should the warriors fear the suns? <laughs> I fucking love Kendrick Perkins. Oh my god, you are literally streaming tears. What was that? Why was he barking? I don't know, but it's so funny. Can you replay it one more time? Should the warriors fear the suns? That's what happened. That's what happened to the warriors last. I love Stephen A. Smith's reaction so damn much. I can't. What was that? Dude, I've never seen somebody cry so much from laughing. This is cra- Are you okay? That was the funniest video I've ever seen in my life. What? I can't, I'm gonna get it together, I promise. Get away from me. 
<laughs> I have never seen I anything like that. I have to get like a video that. of that because the oh camera doesn't do it justice. I can't breathe. <laughs> That oh, was hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate Stephen A. Smith, but that reaction was so good. Oh, I have so many questions about that video. Why was he barking? <laughs> I, I think it was sort of like because he was he's on the sun side. He yeah, he always is. Yeah. Um, and I think when asked should the warriors be afraid of them, I think he was trying to be the sons and be intimidating. <laughs> I, for one, am a person. I've done this before. I I barked in public. Um. <laughs> Why is that not surprising? Uh, unwarranted. <laughs> well, it's warranted, but it's unexpected, I would say. Yeah. Um, it's really fun. Uh, crowded bar, sitting down, maybe having dinner with your family at a nice restaurant. <laughs> it's actually... Never do that again. Um, if there's a, guy, a creepy guy at the bar that's bothering you and they like won't leave you alone, you just like turn around and start barking at them. Yeah. yeah. Have you done it? No. I'm much more aggressive. <laughs> front I'm like get the fuck away from me <laughs> <laughs> okay if wow you, that if, was incredible <laughs> if you want some social advice from michaela perkins you can follow her on twitter at michaela e. perkins but if you want to get more direct social advice join the discord at gophnx.com you can ask her questions in our phnx sun devils discord um it's open all the time um i'm in there talking a lot uh michaela is on her phone 24 7 literally 24 so, 7 um even i got when, my watch time report you know when like oh on Jesus. sunday Wait, guess how guess. many average hours a day i am on my screen 11. higher no fucking way 11 hours and 38 minutes literally there are 24 hours in a day it is your job it is my job but so i feel like a that's obscene excuse. that is obscene Literally, the, almost exactly half of my day is spent have looking you, at my have phone. Have you seen those memes where somebody takes a screenshot of their uh, of their screen time? And it's like, man, I'm so addicted to the settings app. It's like 14 hours a day on the yeah. settings app. <laughs> yeah. What's your, what's your, is it Twitter that takes up the brunt of it? It's TikTok. Oh, that's not even your job. Uh, it, it will be starting soon, but I love TikTok. You know this. I yeah. quote TikToks all day. Yeah. She's a walking TikTok. I am a walking TikTok. Um, ten out of those are <laughs> sleeping. Yeah. So are you? Uh, are you? Are you a, a sleep texter? Uh, no. I'll just fall Is asleep. Is anybody a sleep texter? I don't think that's a thing. Is that a thing? I don't think that's a thing. I'd be sick. But uh, yeah, R.I.P. My eyes. Um, I'm gonna have no eyesight left by the time yeah. I'm like 30 because I spend so much time looking at my phone. Mm -hmm. It's very sad. Well. Go phnx.com if you want to look at more screens. Um, yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Um, if you want to look at more screens, you can put your blue light glasses on and read some of Johnny Venerable's articles. Uh, this morning I addressed this. I'll address it on this show as well. Um, Johnny was let go from the phnx daily bet show because he started shrinking. Um, he's in the hospital and he's four foot six now. He was four foot seven this morning. Um, I just wanted to give him some well wishes. Johnny, I hope you're doing – he's not actually. He's on his way to Chicago to cover the Cardinals game. Um, he'll be live calling in from the stadium on the PHNX tailgate show um, every Sunday at 10 a.m. Me, myself, me, myself, and I. Oh, that's It's just three of me's on the screen. It's uh, me, Saul, and Derek, and then Johnny will be calling in virtually um, for that show. He writes some great stuff for PHNX Cardinals, which you can only find if you become a member at gophnx.com. If you get an annual membership, you can get a free T-shirt, and we just dropped – this heater of a t-shirt southwest bias do you like this shirt i love it i do too arizona against everybody baby yeah it's sweet i, I really enjoy the shirt and i really enjoyed did your... you notice that the period is the state shape of arizona i d just did yeah i didn't notice that until later but again <clears throat> banger of a design yeah big fan very clean my um my <laughs> uh my very delicate and nice mother told me i look very good in black I don't know why she's delicate, but she That is. was very kind of her. Yeah. Do you think I look good in black? Um, sure. <laughs> yes, like my, Shane. Do you like my pants? I do. Yeah. Oh, not the dad shoes. These good God. I don't have... Can somebody take Shane shoe shopping? I, I know all of your friends are in this chat right now. You guys are not good friends for letting Shane walk out of the house with his shoes choices. These are my work shoes. <laughs> I'm not... Go Actually, I am going out tonight. Thank you for joining us on another episode of the PHNX Sun Devils live show. You can follow me at Shane Deef. You can follow Michaela at Michaela E. Perkins on Twitter. You can follow the show at PHNX underscore Sun Devils. Um, you can follow PHNX underscore sports across all social medias, including YouTube. Subscribe. Leave a like. Leave a comment on what type of shoes I should get. 
Um, Please help this man. The number one comment gets a virtual hug. And I have been told I give very good virtual hugs. Can you just, can you say something when there's dead air? <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. It's not supposed Who to be... tells someone they give a good virtual hug? I did, just live on air. You, okay. I believe you. Guys, we'll, we, we'll, whoa, 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 whoa. we'll be back on Sunday after, um, we'll actually have an audio episode available tomorrow, but we'll also be back on Sunday after the Oregon game. That game tips off at five. Um, I'll have some coverage of ASU women's basketball. They play in the ASU Classic Saturday and Sunday, 12 and noon against UTSA and Harvard, I believe. Um, yes, Harvard uh, is this game at noon on Sunday and on Saturday they play at 1 p.m. Uh, we'll have coverage for that. So don't forget to follow us on Twitter. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. If you're listening on audio, leave a I'm nice so review. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the horrible yeah, audio episode. Yeah, if you're listening on audio, you should have already switched over. Just go over. look to YouTube. <laughs> but follow us on audio wherever you get your podcast. Leave a five-star review. Comment something nice about my hair. And peace. Thank you.